How to recover data from a corrupt SQLite database. Try Systool's SQLite database recovery software. Let's discuss key features. First is efficient recovery. It restores tables, views, triggers, and indexes from corrupt or inaccessible SQLite files. Second, flexible export. It saves data in SQLite, MS Access, PDF, or CSV formats with data type mapping. Advanced features. Recovers deleted records, previews objects, and supports UTF-8, UTF-16 formats. Wide compatibility. Works with files from various origins and supports all Windows OS versions. To download the software, open Google and search for Systool's SQLite database recovery software. Now click on the first link. Then click on the download button. Once downloaded, simply install the software on your system. This is the interface of the Systool's SQLite database recovery software. At the top left, you'll find the Add File option, which allows you to import your SQLite file for recovery. Next is the Close option, which lets you close the currently imported file to add a new one. The About Us button provides details about the software version and related information. Use the Export option to save your recovered data in the desired format. Click Purchase to buy a license key for the software. The Reactivated License button helps you renew your license key when needed. In the Help section, you can access an overview of the software and its features. Finally, the Exit button will close the application. Let's continue. Click on Add File to import your SQLite file. These are the Add File options. In the SQLite File option, users need to click the box on the right. Locate your SQLite file and click Open to proceed. If you have a journal file which is used for rollback transactions in SQLite, you can import it as well. Simply click the box next to the journal file, locate it, and click Open. In the File Type option, you can adjust the file type for the journal file if needed. After selecting the journal file, use the encoding option to choose from formats like UTF-8, UTF-16, UTF-16LE, or UTF-16BE. Once the files are imported, click on Add to proceed. At the top left table, you'll find the SQLite data folders. Below that, the bottom table displays the SQLite database properties. These database properties can be exported in CSV or PDF format. Simply click the corresponding button to export. To view folder data, click on the folder, and the right side tabular panel will display the data in a user-friendly format. At the bottom, there's a hex panel that shows data in binary format. You can also export just the hex data by using the PDF button on the right. At the top, there is a Select Export option, allowing users to export only the selected data. For exporting data, users have multiple format options. SQLite Database, New Microsoft Access Database, Existing Microsoft Access Database, PDF and CSV. There is also Hex Panel displays data in binary format and allows users to export selected hex data as a PDF by clicking the PDF button. These are the hex page properties. The hex panel also highlights specific data types with colors. Gray shows unallocated data, red shows deleted and recovered data, green shows active data, blue shows secured data. In the record panel, you can view and export selected records in CSV or PDF format. The deleted panel displays only recovered deleted data, which can also be exported using the Select Export option. In the SQL Editor panel, users can execute queries, add new queries, save them, or open existing queries. Let's export the recovered data. Start by selecting a folder, or click the top checkbox to select all folders. Then, click the Export button. In the Export window, Users can choose which data to include or exclude. To exclude active records, deselect active records. To exclude deleted records, deselect deleted records. To exclude media files, deselect all media files. 
For this example, we want to export all data, so make sure all options are selected. In the Select Options section, choose the desired export format. We'll proceed with the CSV format, but users can select other options if needed. Finally, in the Save Type section, set the destination path for the exported data. Click on the Browse button and select the destination path or folder, then click OK. With all settings configured, click the Save button. A confirmation message will appear, indicating that the export was successful. Click OK, and you'll be redirected to the exported folder. Here are your CSV files. Next, open the deleted folder. Here is your recovered data. And that's how you can recover SQLite database data using the SysTools SQLite database recovery software. Log on to the given product page for more detail in purchasing the product. For any queries mail us to support at systoolsgroup.com. Thank you for watching.